Hey YouTube, Groundwire here. This is my first video about my secret passion, my secret hobby, coin collecting, or rather coin roll searching to be more specific. Well, yeah, it's, it's of course uh, eventually a coin collection. And uh, today, um, I, I've actually collected, um, well, I've got a pretty good, well, I've got a couple coins, but um, I used to, um, or did one time, bought like hundreds of dollars worth of coins from the bank in these rolls from my local bank, which in this point is uh, On Point Community Credit Union here in uh, Oregon. So if you live in Oregon, um, I just, I've been very satisfied with them. I have no problems ordering large amounts of coin rolls from them. And uh, But my only problem is that they use a Loomis, and I feel that Loomis might be... Uh, uh, excuse me if this is the wrong word, but culling their silver coins. And uh, I'm not just looking for silver, because, you know, silver is very rare to find today. And I found like one silver dime, and that was not even from a Loomis roll. For all I know, it could have been out of somebody's pocket or piggy bank, because um, it came through a, a cash register. But, so I feel that, you know try and find s silver alone in these rolls um, it's it's not it's not really a likely thing to happen but every once in a while I will no longer pick up mass quantities of rolls but I did today I picked up uh, what do I have here two dollars and nickels so two four six eight ten twelve dollars and nickels and so twelve these are pennies so that'd be twelve fifty thirteen fourteen dollars worth of uh, coins here and plus a couple uh, dollar Sacagawea dollars and uh, I found this guy I know I should not be touching this in my hand but at this point I do not have yet I have ordered some uh, gloves and a bunch of coin collecting stuff I've just started this out guys and uh, that there is a 2000 Sacagawea dollar Denver Mint excuse me I just had dinner uh, Sacagawea Denver Mint. Uh, you probably can't see it too well because of the uh, flash on the phone here, but um, or the light. But that is in very good, very good shape. Um, I am terrible with grading. I do not know what I could even possibly grade that at. And if I would quit touching it, hopefully here pretty soon, I can get that in a package, which I did purchase today. I will show you this in a minute in the video. Um, the grade is, it just, it really is stunning. It's, it's still got that, that glare to it. And, uh, for 2000, a year 2000, I think it's pretty good compared to most of the dollar pieces that I've seen. So, there's a couple older ones, but that one there has got a very interesting tone to it compared to some of the others. So, I, I collect these Sacagaweas because I know they're a little bit more rare than, say, the presidential dollars. And, um... I've got a couple Susan B. Anthony's as well, so they're pretty rare too, and uh, so I like those, and probably not really worth anything, but they're definitely worth more than face value, even if it's only a few cents, so I definitely keep those. And uh, so anyways, today we're going to be going, or at least we're going to be going through in this video, um, this may be spread out over a period of a couple days, but um, we're going to go through these rolls and see what I find. I have already looked at the ends. There's nothing special. We've got some new, brand new pennies. It's got that shield. I don't even know what they're called. I haven't really looked up, looked them up yet, but it's got that shield symbol on the end. If I can find one here. Yeah, there it is. So, not too enthused about that, but I did see a couple old ones on the ends. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, here we are checking out these rolls. I apologize, I'm not going to be able to get my face into the camera, but it's not about me, it's about the coin rolls. So, why am I even mentioning that? So, here we are with our second roll. I actually had already done one, didn't find anything. And we're actually going to open this one up now. Now, keep in mind, we're looking for silver visually. I will be doing another video later on any key dates that I found, or die errors, things like that. Now these Loomis rolls, 
Normally you can just tear them up, and of course I've got all the equipment I can wrap them and crimp them myself, but I like to uh, salvage them at all possible. Now, I will of course eventually be fast forwarding this film, so you don't have to sit here and watch this, because <laughs> this is going to take me about probably about half an hour to do all these, just because I'm taking the time to open these rolls very carefully. And it actually might be interesting to see how these are tight. And you can see how how I'm doing this. I'm just taking a knife and don't... This knife is nothing special, so... I hope I got this in frame. Okay. Just take a knife. Slow motion here. And just pry up the ends. Be careful not to poke through. Because otherwise you'll cut it. And, uh... These, these are really good rolls, so if you can salvage them and reuse them, that's awesome. So that's why I do these. I save these rolls. I don't actually, right now I'm not using them, but I have them. And at this point, you can take your fingernails, being careful, just prying it in this, just as so. If you got a long fingernail like I do mine, I keep my thumbnail fairly big. Yes, that is kind of disgusting. You can go ahead and make your comments about it. But I do that so for this purpose. Because I can get in there and pull it up. Still got one folded over in there that we may not end up. There we go. Okay, there is one Loomis roll carefully unwrapped. At this point I will pass, fast forward the video and if I find any silver I'll pause it and we'll do a check out. Check it out. Here we go.
Okay, that's it for the uh, nickels. We're going to move on to pennies. Something I should note. Some of these, you may not want to take a knife and do this to, because you are going to be end up scratching the surface of the coins. And once in a while, you're going to get a real nice coin that you really do not want to be scratching on the end. But if you know it's a fairly, like, 1980s coin, not a key date, so you want to check the, the, the dates and things like on the end, to make sure that it's not something that you're going to want to scratch or something that you don't want to scratch otherwise um, you may end up scratching and it'll be something like a you know like a die air or something and the grade of the coin is going to determine the price significantly and in which case if you scratch it that's going to significantly um, decrease the value of the coin so keep that in mind this coin I'm not too worried about it's a fairly new one I cannot see the date I'm going to determine that that one's worth scratching, so here we go. If anybody out there has some better methods for removing the coins from the rolls, let me know in the comment section. And tearing them apart does not count.
Okay, guys, well, that was the last roll. And out of that last roll, they're all brand new copper coins, except for maybe two of them. Yeah, there's a 27, or excuse me, 2007. And one 1995. So nothing, pretty much nothing in the pennies, except for that one roll had quite a few old copper ones. And, uh, or, well, they're all copper, but, you know, higher concentration of copper. Um, got no silver out of the dimes, but is all hope lost? Absolutely not. Next portion would, of course, be check key dates, um, you know, and, uh, there is always some luck there. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, again, this video really... Obviously, it's not much entertainment to watch it, but um, the point of the video is to, like, if you guys are sitting there and you're doing all your coin stuff, you're checking your key dates, you're doing your thing, you're rolling your coins, whatever it is that you're doing, I find myself watching videos just like this one that I just filmed um, while I'm doing something like that, so I can at least listen to the video and every once in a while glance up and see what's on the screen if the guy finds something, so... Today I didn't find anything, but that's mainly the purpose of this video, and it's also to help you guys out there to experience what other people are finding, and what what hope there is in finding what I find. You know, if I find something rare, that means there's still hope. There is still hope for silver. There is still hope for some die dates, or some die airs, things like that. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you all later.